Hello everyone and welcome to the next version of our series of webinars. Today Manuel Brossard will walk us through the full publishing workflow, the full process of publishing an app and also of publishing content to that app. With that I would like to turn it over to Manuel and um, show you, have him show you how to publish apps and content to those apps using our tools. Hi everyone, this is Manuel Roussard and welcome to this webinar. Um, the main idea today is to present the, the workflow about how uh, are you going to publish, uh, submit an app on the Mac App Store and uh, especially your first app, the, the first one that you are going to make uh, that won't uh, necessarily have much content in it, it's only one or two publications. So I'm going to take an example that uh, Mathieu Kopp has, has already already uh, made. It's the example of a, um, of a bookshelf uh, containing uh, travel guides. So the idea here is that I'm a travel guide uh, publisher. I want to publish my travel books on uh, the App Store and um, for now I've only made one travel, uh, I've only adapt one travel guide uh, with the InDesign plugin and I um, don't want to lose time uh, release my app uh, as fast as possible on the App Store, on the app store and, um, and then publish uh, add content to to the bookshelf and after uh, the app is validated by Apple. So the first thing I've done, I have created an uh, a guide on a design. I have uh, tested it on, on my kiosk, it works, it's okay. So I have exported the ZAV and uh, the manifest and I have everything here in um, not this one, in a folder here. So here is my publication. That's my guide with the manifest, the ZAV, some um, the thumbnail and uh, the preview and the summary. So I have everything for my publication and I'm ready to create the app. So now what I'm going to do is to go to AV Publishing. Uh, I have already created uh, the title, which is a, a collection title, which means it's, it's not a magazine, it's a collection of books. Um, and I have two, uh, three actually with the default one, but I have two issue types uh, because I will have uh, some big travel guides and I will also have some small travel guides. So this is my title and I also configured my application. Um, but I still don't have any projects in it so I will have to publish my desav I've already um, make made so I just go to publish the only title I have is my travel book so I've already prepared everything here so I'll just copy and paste the name
copy and paste the description. The guide I've already made is a big, a big, big travel guide. So I choose the big guide type of issue. I don't have any issue numbers or or headlines. My my Zev file is already on my server. It has a URL that I just have to copy and paste it here. And also the manifest is available in my folder. I've also, as I've shown, I have also prepared the thumbnail, the preview, and the summary. And the release date is for today. Oh, I see that the developers are <laughs> have made a new a new frame here that I haven't seen already. That's that's the beta website, so that's that's new. I, I didn't know about it. I think it is the new is the new form for uh, the collection titles. Yeah, they added the, the author credits and everything. Identifier. That's quite new, so I, I'm just discovering it. It's, it's cool. <laughs> um, OK, I just hope it will work with what I've done up here. So I'm just going to press OK. It seems to work. Um, so now I have my publication and I go back to my application and I will just add a product to make the link between my publication and my application. So I only have one title, the one issue type, one product type, sorry, and the product name is BitGuide. And the type of issue is a BitGuide. Uh, the product was a, uh, no, that's the other camera, that's the name of the product. Travel guide. So for now, I will say that the product is free because I want to test it. Um, okay. So I'm going back to the applications and download the certificate. So it is here in my download folder. And now I just have to open AV App Factory, create a new project, and choose the first template because it is a bookstore and that's what I want. And I just drag and drop my certificate here and all the informations I have entered in AV Publishings are going into AV App Factory. So let's say that I'm okay with um, the looks of this bookstore and that I want to 
publish it fast. So I just have to export to the simulator. Oops. And here you see that I have my first travel book here that it is a free travel book. I can test the download and see that it's, it works. Okay, so that application is enough to be uh, to be uploaded on the uh, to be uploaded to Apple to get a validation. So now what I'm going to do is to show you the iTunes Connect interface. So in iTunes Connect, I have made um, I have configured my travel books uh, application. Here I can show you the details. So they ask you some questions that you just have to fill the form, enter, upload some uh, the icon of course, and the screenshot, which is not the same, but that's not a problem. So I'm going back to the app summary, and I will show you the in-app purchases. You can see here that, I ha that Matthew has configured three in-app products. And here is my big guide and also the small guide. You remember that I've made, I've created two issue types. You can find here the big guide and the small guide here also. So I can say that this app is uh, ready to be published, to be submitted to Apple. So what I'm going to do here after um, creating, creating this uh, app on iTunes Connect, I just have to go to AV App Factory, click on Export to Device, and choose a distribution profile. You remember that uh, I don't know if all of you um, watched the last seminar I've made that was more focused on the question of this developer profiles and certificates. So this time I will not detail it because it a bit long, but just short, uh, it, you have two types of distribution prof of development profiles. You have the release profiles that are just for testing purposes, and you have the distribution profiles that are for distribution. That, that's the final profile you need to have to create the app that you are going to send to Apple for validation. So. Here, I don't have any solution for a file with Aquafatas, but let's see. Yeah, my release profile is, is a distribution profile, so I, I will make my, I will generate my application anyway. Here. So here, here I have the folder with the .ipa file, which is my actually my my application. So now I have to go and open. A uh, developer utility to send that application 
to Apple. When you install uh, Xcode, it creates a developer folder on your on the root of your hard disk, and in it there is an application folder with the utilities folder, and in it there is an application called application loader. That is the application that will send the that will send the application you have just created to Apple for validation. So here you see that I have my travel books 1.0 iOS app. That's the one I have configured here in iTunes Connect. So I just have to choose it, click on next, confirm that the Yes, I have tested it on iOS 4 because my simulator is a iOS 4.2. So now I can choose the IPA file that I have on my desktop. My travel books. Here it is. I won't go through all the process. I won't click on open here because I will have an uh, um, an error telling me that I am using a release profile and uh, I can't uh, distribute apps with this profile. So <laughs> you see that Apple has made the, the, the things right. Uh, this application loader verifies if you have created, uh, generated your .ipa file with the correct profiles and everything. So uh, this this is quite simple actually um, once you have understand, understood uh, the difference and uh, once you have the, the two profiles, the release profiles and the, the distribution profiles. So once I choose the APA file and click on send, it goes to Apple's validation and then you have to wait for Apple to validate your, your, your application and to put it on the App Store. Let's say it, it could take at least 10 days. So during those 10 days, the idea is to create more content uh, with our InDesign plugin and uh, already publish it on uh, avpublishing.com so when your um, your application is approved and is on a Apple Store you just have to click on your application and just add a product and uh, add a, if you haven't made the products uh, the in-app purchase products in uh, iTunes Connect, you just have to add them there too. So that was uh, the idea, that was what I wanted to explain, that you don't have to uh, create all your content before submitting your app, you just have to, to have one example of your content uh, submit your app once it is approved you just have to publish your your new content and then it will appear on your kiosk to thank everybody for participating in today's web seminar and i certainly would like to thank manuel for doing another great presentation of our tools and we will keep you posted on the next webinars that are coming up um, the plan is to have another one in about a week from now, I think next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, so watch out for the web seminar invitation. And we are looking forward to see you soon on this channel again. Thank you all. See you soon. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.